Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. I'm Ella. Um, I want to welcome all the new subscribers. I've had a few in the last few weeks. <laughs> um, and if you're a returning viewer, you know, thanks for subscribing and watching and liking and all that stuff. Uh, comment down below if you'd like or if you have any questions or whatever. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I'm running around and I'm cooking and my son's taking a nap. I don't know if you can see him, but this is his monitor. <laughs> He's sleeping. It's been a little over a week, I think, since I made a video, but it's just because, you know, life has been life <laughs> and busy. So, um, I don't have a whole lot to show today of uh, finished objects and whips, so I'm also going to show all the items I've made so far for our county, county fair that is in September this year. It's the, I think it's the very beginning of September. It's like September 2nd through the 10th or something like that. Um... So I'm just going to hop in with finished objects. One of them I don't have with me. It's actually my son's toy box. Because my sister saw on uh, Instagram someone had this cute little lemon with a little smiley face on it. And she wanted me to make her one. So I tried making her one and I just wasn't happy with the pattern. So I gave it to my son. And I'm going to try to find a better pattern that closes better. But my first finished object other than that is the turkey reef that is for the county fair. And I think I mentioned it in the last video, it was a whip. <laughs> but now it's finished, except for a thing to hang it with. And I hope that it's all in there. <laughs> but it's got the little turkey with his little legs and his hair and all his feathers. Uh, the pattern called for the feathers to have pipe cleaners glued behind them to hold them up. But I didn't have any pipe cleaners and didn't want to go buy any, so I just used drinking straws. I just cut them to size and hot glued them on there. And it works just fine. I just need to get a, uh, figure out somehow to make it hang. He's a little crooked. But, um, I think it's cute. And it's for a Thanksgiving decoration for the fair. But also, you know, I can use it afterwards. The only other finished object that I have isn't 100% finished because it's only a part of the afghan. But it's part of the grease-themed crochet along that I'm doing. And I finished the first square, which is humongous. Uh, it's backwards. This is my first big um, corner to corner piece. It turned out ginormous. This is just one square of the afghan. I don't even know if I'm getting it in the camera. Well, it says pink ladies. It's made with red heart super saver in petal pink and then black. The uh, turkey, I forgot what it's called. The turkey is made out of super saver scraps too. But the Pink Lady Square is just one part of the afghan for the crochet along. It's one of the larger parts, obviously, and then there's another one that's the same size, and then a bunch of little ones that go around them. It's a bug. <laughs> but um, that was really hard. It took me forever to get used to how to use a gnat in here, how to use bobbins. And um, my bobbins were just little balls of yarn that I wound up and put a hair clip through to hold them, you know, for keep them from rolling around and unraveling. But lots and lots of work. It took me almost two weeks just to finish that. I haven't started on the second square yet, and it was released Monday. Nope, not this Monday, last Monday. The third one was released this Monday. Wait, I think it is Monday. Yeah, it is Monday. The third one was released today. But um, I'm planning on starting the second square from last week, maybe today after I make this video. But hopefully it won't take me as long, because now that I know how to do corner to corner, and how to do bobbins because the first half of that blanket I was trying different methods to um, figure out how to make it without having a bedrillion ends to tie in. Um, my other whip, I'm almost done with this one. I would have finished it today if my son hadn't gotten tired. All I need to do to him next or last is to sew on his legs that I've already made but it's a little patriotic pillow. He's supposed to look like one of those rocket pops. And I think he's really cute. I'm thinking about somehow either making little crochet things or little pennants or something that says like 4th of July or USA or something else to make him look even more patriotic because this is another thing for the fair and the category that I'm entering him in is uh, patriotic decorations. So he is red, white, and blue but I wanted to add something else just you know to make him more patriotic. He's super cute and he's super easy. Oh, I forgot to say patterns. <laughs> I'll start with him. He is by, um, I have it written down. 
It's called the Patriotic Popsicle Cuddle Buddy. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. And it is by Sarah Zimmerman, which is uh, the girl who runs Repeat Crafter Me. And uh, he's almost done. He's cute. He's just got little legs that go down here. I already made them. I just got some on. The Grease Afghan Crochet Along is hosted by uh, Chaos and Chop Suey. Suey? Suey? I don't know if I'm saying that right. But it's a paid for pattern. And then the Turkey. Ooh, the Turkey. <laughs> it's a free pattern also by Sarah Zimmerman at Repeat Crafter Me. Alright, my last whip is something I don't know if I'm going to keep making or if I'm going to rip out and use the yarn for something else. I really love this yarn. It's my souvenir yarn from Gatlinburg when me and my husband went this May. And I rolled it into a ball. It wasn't a uh, hank. But it is Wonderland Yarns, Pigments of Imagination, and Cheshire Cat. I think Cheshire Cat's the color because it's pink. <laughs> I don't know how good it's picking up because I can't see it. But it's just, it's pink and it's got like these darker pink specks and kind of like a purpley pink speck <laughs> in it. And I started, it's it's fingering weight, which I have not done anything with fingering weight before. I started a uh, shawlet with it. Well, it's it's called, this pattern is called a scarf, but it looks like a shawlet. And I wanted something that I could wear myself because I bought this as souvenir yarn. So I want to be able to wear it and remember, you know, all the times we had there. It's a nice pattern, and I like the way it looks. It looks it's uh, treble crochets and uh, picots, I think is how you say it. I always call them pickets, but I think they're picots. Um, and, you know, just gradually gets bigger and bigger and bigger and swoops around. And I like the pattern and all, but I don't know. It's just, I feel like it's not what this yarn is for. <laughs> so I think I'm going to rip it out and find something else to use with it. But I definitely, I want some sort of, like, scarf type thing or because I'm not a big shawl wearer but I do wear scarves in the winter but this is the ball band for the um, the yarn I bought it at um, the Smoky Mountain Spinnery because our hotel was like two minutes away from there and uh, I really like this yarn I wish I had bought more of it but eh. that's all my whips and all my FOs fast fast enough I always mess up I don't know I'm just a blubber now, since I don't, oh, the, sh the um, shawl is called One Skin Shawl, or the Asymmetrical Shawl by Dorothy, I think it's Petrie, and it's a free pattern on Ravelry. Alright, I've only got two things after this little popsicle's done. I only have two things that I need to make for the fair because I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna try to make an afghan because I just I don't have the time you know now that with, that with my son and all that I just don't have the time to sit down and make an afghan but I still need to make a toy that's not like a stuffed animal <laughs> and I need to make a table runner which I have patterns picked out I just have to make them all right now my computers are here I'm using it uh, start with the thing on top of the pile. <clears throat> this is the Holly Jolly Holiday Stocking. I cannot say her name. I'm not even going to attempt it. It's very... I'll just I'll slaughter it. But it's a free pattern on Ravelry. And it's cute. I think it's cute as heck. This is one of the first things I made for the fair this year. I made this in like January. Um, I messed the seam up on the back, but hopefully when they display it, they'll display it this way. <laughs> but oh well. It's got like uh, bobble stitches up here and it's just kind of like the bra brainwaves hat that was real big for a while pattern on it I think it's really cute but this is for you know the the uh, category is stockings Christmas stockings obviously okay let's see here this little this next one is the Christmas ornament uh, category which I love this Christmas ornament I'm gonna hang it on my tree this year I'd like to make a bunch of these and hang them all over it but it's the Festive Sheep Ornament by Jennifer Dickerson, and it's free on Ravelry. It's just a little sheep, and it's got a, you know, a square or a circle in the back to hide all the sewing in parts. It's got this scarf on. Dang it, I still been forgetting to say the yarn, so I stink at this. Pretty much everything is made with Red Heart Super Saver scraps, unless I remember to say otherwise, because I have a ton of Red Heart Super Saver scraps from the last... Oh, I thought that was my sign. From the last forever years. 
I've been crocheting for 15 years and I've been really crocheting for like five. All right, <laughs> next category is, I keep saying this word wrong, but it's Lynette, I think. No, there's no N. Layette, Layette? I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Newborn Laynette, Layette, 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 Layette. By Darla J. Fanton, it's another free pattern. And it was, I made this for the category uh, baby sweater set. You've seen this one recently, because I just finished putting the buttons on it. I didn't go crazy. I used the same color she used in the pattern. But it's a little sweater with this cute little hat. I think this hat's so cute. <laughs> I wish my son had been born in a cold, colder weather in booties so that he could have worn things like this. But he was born in May, so it was... And I live in Tennessee, so it was already pretty hot by the time he was born. Okay, I'm trying to hurry because I'm cooking spaghetti. And I'll probably burn it, but that's okay. Where's the hat? Okay. Irish Blessing Hat Slash. This is a paper pattern. I actually made this originally for a crochet along slash knit along on Ravelry. I can't remember who hosted it. I think, I'm pretty sure it was Erin at Give Me Yarn 418 in her Ravelry group. I always feel like I, feel like I say that wrong. Uh, she had a crochet along that was neon colors, and I don't know how good this is showing up. This is neon. This yellow is actually um, Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn neon yellow, I think, and then this is just Red Heart Super Saver Black. It's a slouchy hat. It's got a really cool pattern. I don't know if you can see it. Whoops! It's like little triangle shapes. I think the triangles are made up of like front post uh, double crochets and then just regular double crochets in between. It's a really cute hat. I love this hat. It's kind of big for my head, but I'd like to make another one that fits my head, but I'm entering this into the hat uh, category. <laughs> It's got pop poms. I don't know if I showed that. That was so fun. I love that neon knit along because all the, everybody who was making neon things are just really pretty. Post. Okay. The next item is the baby dress category, which you've seen this recently too. It's the Pineapple Cascades baby dress. This is made with Lion Brand's uh, Mandala in Pegasus colorway. It seems humongous, but I guess once it's hanging on a, or hanging, being worn by a baby, you know, it would fold and stuff. But it almost looks like it would fit my son right now as a shirt. He's a husky boy. He is. He'll be 15 months old tomorrow, August 1st. He is 3 feet tall, and he weighs 32 pounds, I think, last time he went to the doctor. I love this little dress, though. Cute, cute, cute. All right, next is another thing you've seen really recently, and it's my Santa's reindeer scarf. Oh, crap, I forgot to... Oh, <laughs> I said a bad word. I'm really bad at this. I'm trying to get better at it. The Irish Blessing Slouch. I said the name, but I didn't say the person who wrote it or anything. It's a paid for pattern, but I got it for free with a coupon code forever ago. It's by Briar Rose Boutiques, which Briar Rose, I'm pretty sure, is. Isn't that Aurora's name? The princess? But. <laughs> and the Pineapple Cascade Baby Dress is by Kim Guzman. Guzman. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. This is a pay for pattern by Heidi Yates, and it's the Santa's reindeer scarf, which you've seen this recently. It's just got all the reindeers. Reindeer. Oops. I'm not good at showing stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to rush, and I'm sorry, but it's just because my son's napping and I'm trying to cook. Santa. I just love the Santa. I don't know. His little cheeks is just so cute. I can't wait to wear this this winter. This, this is going to be on my neck the majority of November and December. Well, December, really, because it's not really cold in November in Tennessee. <laughs> Alright, the next one is... I'll do these ones since they're right in front of me. The Dragon Slippers by Bonita Pattern. Or, yeah, Bonita Patterns. It's a paid-for pattern. It's made with Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn Painted Canyon. These are really cute little beauties. I'm not holding them very well. I'm losing their shape. <laughs> These are for the baby booty category. The other, the scarf was obviously for the scarf category. <laughs> I'm horrible at this today. But, okay. Just continue. Alright. I'll grab this one. For Halloween decoration category, I just made this little stuffy, which is so cute, and I can't wait to set him out for Halloween. In my house. He's a little ghost. 
I'm kind of missed his legs up a little. They curl. I wish I had sold them on better. But it is the Halloween Ghost, and the pattern was by Emma Garumi today. I don't know who the actual designer was, because that's who was listed on Ravelry. But it's a free pattern. He's got a little top hat, top hat on. He's all Red Heart Super Saver too. I have a ton of this green. I don't know how I got so much of this green, but this green and this color blue, I have a ton of it. Like, I've been using it nonstop for the last five years, and I still haven't run out yet. And, you know, examples right here. <laughs> the next one is this. I'm thinking about ordering, entering this into the doll category, but I'm after I was thinking about it, I was, maybe it means actually like a humanoid doll. Because last year, I entered it that same category, and it was a Hagrid from Harry Potter doll, which is human, <laughs> and I won first prize. But, um, so I think I might not enter him into the fair and make another doll with, you know, an actual humanoid doll. But this is the Bird Amigurumi by Mary Smith, which is another one of my favorite designers, which I've said that a million times. It's a paid-for pattern, but you can get a lot of coupon codes from her a lot of the time, just like a Heidi Yates. But he's just, uh, a bird. I can't remember the name of this. It's like banana berry. It's a weird <laughs> name. It's a variegated yarn. And I have a ton of it. And it goes with the blue and green that I have a ton of. So I don't I don't know if I did it on purpose or what. But um, I think using variegated yarns, because I don't like variegated. I like self-stropping. Variegated is too, too quick of a color change. But um, I think it, I like using variegated yarn for like dolls like this because it just, you know, makes them look like a patterned animal. <laughs> Uh, the next one is the, where is it on there? I don't see it on there. But it's the Grinch Reef. I don't think I wrote it down. I'm almost done with this except for a hanger and I need to put a bow on it. But the pattern just has him and the reef. And then I added the heart just because I thought it was cute to have it hanging down. But uh, I think this is by Sarah Zimmerman at Repeat Craft Me. But I'll link it below for sure. I love this. I can't wait to use it this this year in my house. <laughs> That's for the holiday or Christmas brief category because it actually has its own category. And then for the baby Afghan category, I'm going to enter my virus, sh not shawl, it's not shawl, it's a blanket. Virus shawl uh, blanket. <laughs> and it's a free video on YouTube, but it's a paid PDF pattern by Joanna Martinez, I think. I don't know if she's the original creator. But it's made with Lion Brand Mandala Gnome. And I know I'm not getting all that in there. But um, I plan on making this a bigger blanket after the fair. Which I've mentioned that before too. But <laughs> in case you're a new viewer, I've got eight more cakes of this and I'm going to make it huge. Hopefully. The last thing that I have completed, and I need to go check on my spaghetti because I'm sure it's probably overcooked by now, is the Build a Holiday Flag. Um, this is a paid for pattern by Heidi Yates which is Snappy Tots, and it's just like a holiday flag. <laughs> These are meant, I think, to be on those things that people set out in their gardens, up like hang flags, but I just put it on a dowel, and I backed it with felt just so that all the tie-ins didn't show through. Um, I made this for the category that is wall hangings, so I figured this would go into the wall hanging category, because it's wall hanging. I just have to get a ribbon or something, or crochet, like an eye cord or something to hang it with. I feel like I've rushed through that, but and I messed up a ton of times because I'm really good at that. But um, that's everything I've got completed so far for the county fair. I've got two, maybe three more things that I need to make. So I really think I need to make an actual humanoid doll. But um, hopefully next time I film, I won't be rushing so bad. <laughs> uh, I'll have some more completed objects and at least a couple more whips because I'm trying to get caught up on the grease crochet along. And I will link the information below all about that in case you want to join it. But, um, oh, I think my son's awake. Yep, he's awake, so I gotta go. <laughs> but, um, like and subscribe if you want to, and leave some comments down below. I like connecting with other crocheters. I don't know anybody in real life that crochets other than a nine-year-old that I've taught. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, just let's all become friends, I guess. But I gotta go, because he's awake, and I don't want him to start crying. So, bye.